So the Milwaukee Bucks are now up two games to zip on the Miami Heat. This is following that debacle last year. You know what's so funny about the internet? The internet is undefeated. And no matter who it is, you can fall victim, and you likely will fall victim to the internet. Everybody laughs when it's not them, but then when it becomes them, everybody just acts like, yeah. So last year, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks, at this point in their series, with Miami, two games in, everybody was like, oh my God, the Bucks are in trouble. Giannis can't shoot. Giannis can't do this. Giannis can't do that. Giannis can't make a shot past 14 feet. And look at the Bucks up two games to zip. And they, they're the three seed. They, you know, they're, they're supposed to take care of business. I just always find it funny. And have the conversation when a guy's winning, like when he's doing what he's supposed to do, it's just common commonality. But when, a, you know, if a guy struggles, let him have a couple bad games or at 26 years old, try to give over hump, get over humps and hurdles in his career. He's the talk of the town. Everything, the world is falling, right? So I want to focus on game one, though. Like, I know game two, Bucks blew out the heat. But I thought game one was more indicative of where this series is going to be, close games throughout. Um, Chris Middleton made a hell of a shot. And I want to bring this up for a reason, right? That Chris Middleton making this game-winning jump shot in overtime, to me, is not a small thing in this series. This is not a small storyline for this series. I think it's a big deal, especially if the Bucs want to accomplish their goal of winning the championship this year. Middleton wasn't making that shot late in games last year against the Heat. Now, was he tired? Was he overworked? Was it this? Was it was the pressure too big for him? I think it may be a combination, was a combination of things. And I say that to say, look at what Drew Holiday joined in the Milwaukee Bucks has done to everybody. I think it's pushed everybody back a spot. Now, I know Giannis is still the best player of the team by far. They're MVP, right? But Giannis is no longer looked at as somebody that has to close a game. Drew Holiday has bumped Giannis back to the three spot in closing. Now, Middleton, who was likely the closer last year in most games, he's been bumped off that closer role to, to number two. And all things considered, Chris Middleton can sometimes be the third option for this Bucks team throughout a game, sometimes be a second option. Giannis can still be one, quarters one through three, but in the fourth, you know, I, Drew Holiday can bump Middleton back to three. You know, sometimes Middleton will be the second option and Holiday will be bumped back to three. Mind you, in New Orleans, oftentimes, Holiday was expected to be the number one. What has Giannis done? I mean, this is a specimen here. It doesn't get hurt that often. Holiday comes to Milwaukee, automatically goes to at bare minimum the, the two spot through quarters one to three. That pressure of him being a one is probably not what he is. He's probably closer to a two and a half. Sometimes he could be a two. Sometimes he'll he'll be a three. That shot from Middleton is a big deal to me because there were some close games in that Heat Buck series last year, and Middleton wasn't making that shot. He was missing down the stretch often for, for Milwaukee. And he makes that one to start the series off. That is a big deal. And I'm somebody who believes the Bucs are going to beat the Nets in the second round. If they're going to do that, it's going to take what Middleton just did, that confidence, that swagger. And I don't want people to sleep on this, right? If Middleton and Giannis both struggle at having the ultimate pressure on them at this point in their careers, right? They're not quote-unquote dogs down the stretch yet. And I know Giannis can be a dog. He's aggressive. But Giannis ain't a, a, a legit born bred dog. He's just incredibly strong. That You can be strong and not a dog, like mentally, right? So I think there's something to be said of knowing, damn, I got to go into this game. I got to be great through the first three quarters. I got to be great in the fourth. And I got to be great down the stretch. Knowing that Drew Holiday is around. I can only imagine how it's helping the morale of Giannis Middleton. And for Holiday, maybe it's the complete opposite. Knowing I got a guy that's going to get us to the fourth quarter. I got a couple guys that could get us to the fourth quarter. And all you need me to do is close? All you need me to do is make big plays, lock up defensively? And if I'm Middleton, wait, I don't have to go get 35 every game in this series. I can kind of find my mojo, find my game. And then knock down big shots. I'm telling y'all, man, Milwaukee is for real this year. Now, I don't think Miami is going to go lay two eggs and get swept. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if this series ends up tied at two. 
But I also wouldn't be surprised if, if Milwaukee gets one in Miami. I think it's very possible, right? I, I'm just telling you guys, this Milwaukee team feels a lot different to me. And, I, you know, adding P.J. Tucker is something that I don't want to overlook. This team looks different because they've added some really nice pieces to the, to the group. It's just funny, man, to see how far the NBA has come. You know, Cleveland struggled to get these type of pieces for LeBron first year round. And I do believe if Giannis is able to win a ring in Cleveland, or excuse me, in Milwaukee this year, this will be one of the best rings in the last decade. To me, it'll be pretty much better than any ring LeBron got. It'll be better than any ring Steph got, any ring KD got. I, I'd put this over the Kawhi ring. If, if Giannis gets this ring, this will be right behind the Dirk ring as my most impressive championships over the last 15 years. If Giannis is able to not only say, hey, I'm staying here in Milwaukee, through thick and thin, y'all believed in me when I was coming up, now I'm going to rock out with y'all. Resigning this ex extension. And in year one of the extension, right, go win a championship, it would be one of the most impressive rings. Respect to Drew Holiday, he ain't an all-star in this league. Respect to Chris Middleton, he wasn't an all-star this year. He was last year, but not this year. These guys are B-level talents. I can't tell you, yeah, probably Dirk was the last guy to win a championship without having two A's. Maybe, I mean, Cal Lowry was really good for Toronto. Maybe, maybe Cal Lowry? More, more times than not, there has to be two A's on your team to win a championship. If Giannis is able to win one as the first, and as the, the one A, be very impressive, and it'll be a huge stamp to his legacy. It will catapult him over a lot of guys in, in league history with, with one championship. That's why this one's so important. It starts with getting past your villain, your arch rival, the Miami Heat in the first round.